my name is Maureen O'Keefe. I am a Dayton painter. I work primarily in acrylic paint on wood panels, and I'm a figure and portrait artist. So I wanted to talk to you today about this painting behind me, which is Harvest Spirit. Uh, I work entirely in a process called blind contour. So when I set up my drawings, it's in um, a single continuous line and I'm not looking at the surface while I'm making the drawing. Once I'm finished with the drawing, I go in and of course I look at it in order to paint the painting. This one, Harvest Spirit, is a portrait of my daughter Mia, who is 10. She is a very spiritual person, very believing. She loves uh, nature and magic and things like this, so it features her sitting on this Throne. She has three faces, and the reason I've done three faces on her is because I like to contemplate uh, the faces that we put forward to the world and what we keep to ourselves, so there's a lot of identity issues in a lot of my paintings. So this one has the three faces to kind of make you think about that. This painting that you see next to me is called Lotus Object 2, and it's part of a series that I am working on currently that explores just the figure in general. So I primarily have done portraits, but I've branched out into some figure painting. I decided to overlap figures and play with how they interact with each other in a painting like this um, to create something that looks like a different object. So this one I was aiming for a flower sort of effect but using my hand. So you see my hand in these different positions as it goes across the, the canvas. I love flesh tone um, so this gave me an opportunity to, to strictly just work on flesh tone. Uh, and to see that juxtaposed against a, a neutral background. Love this painting. It feels very visceral and very bodily to me. So this is Lotus Object 2. So I also wanted to point out that this was one of the first paintings that I, I had gotten a little bit adventurous and started using some paint that you could purchase that comes in a thick tube and it's got different attachments almost like icing uh, you, know, you can put the different tip on an icing bag so i got a bunch of tips and i started using those to draw with on the painting so when you come in and see two of my paintings here at the gallery up close you'll see the textured lines that are created with those tipped tubes of paint that you can just squeeze out um, i love that bit of texture. So you'll see it in this painting, you'll see it in Cusp inside, uh, but you will not see it in Harvest Spirit because that was prior to me experimenting with that thick paint. So a little bit of background about myself. I am a painter. I was trained at the Savannah College of Art and Design in Savannah, Georgia. And when I got married and had my first daughter, I came back here because my family is from Sydney. We moved back here and I started teaching at Edison Community College. So I teach drawing, painting, basic design, color theory, those sorts of classes at the community college. And I also work at the Dayton Art Institute. So behind me, you see one of my pieces titled Cusp. I work, um, like I said, in acrylic. And my technique is based in blind contour drawing. And for anyone who doesn't understand what blind contour drawing means, the whole piece is set up as one single line and it's drawn blind. So I'm not looking at the panel while I'm drawing the layout of the painting. Now, after I'm finished with the line drawing, I will look at it and go in and then I fill in the spaces in between the lines in a way that creates some volume and some dimension to the figures. I almost exclusively do figures and portraits you will see some of my uh, body part drawings. I have a hand painting here, uh, but mostly it's all figures and portraits. So to tell you a little bit about the painting behind me, which I said um, is titled Cusp, this one is a portrait of my 13-year-old daughter. She was sitting on the couch looking very grown up and 
13. So I, what I did was I put the photograph that I took of her into a photo editing software program and mirrored it. And then I used that as the basis to create my blind contour drawing and then paint it. The title cusp refers to her kind of state of being right now. So at 13, she's in eighth grade. She's kind of on the cusp of a lot of different things in her life of becoming you know, a full-fledged person. So um, it's a very personal painting about uh, coming of age, I guess. So she's kind of reflecting on herself. I'm reflecting on her. Uh, it's an interior with two figures. If you're interested in seeing more of my work, I have a studio in Sydney, Ohio. Uh, it's just a working studio, but anyone is welcome to give me a call and come see what I've got and what I'm doing anytime they'd like. I occasionally show at the Contemporary Dayton and the Dayton so Society of Artists. And you are more than welcome. Please stop down here to the Edward A. Dixon Gallery to see the three pieces that we've talked about today.